Welcome back, everyone. This is Icy Misty bringing you more of Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Last on the last episode, we managed to get to here in floor 10. If you do not remember from the last episode, obviously. So now I can actually move on. Um, you probably heard before um, on the probably you seen on the last episode. Um, there were some few things I actually ended up leaving out as well on the previous floor. So I, I will go over them on the next, se uh, well not on the next episode. This is probably this episode today if I do manage to do so. So without further ado, let's just continue on. And of course there's this one puzzle switch here. Just gotta get settled on the other side. So we can actually hit both switches at the same time. Now let's see here. Okay, let's just walk to this tombstone and let's see what's on here. Watch where you stay, Lumina, as much as you can find in the answer. Okay, so the answer lies on the floor, obviously. And let's just make a whole circle pattern. Just to see. Oh, look at that. It's right here. Oh, let me kill this ghost. Go away. And let's get this one two out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. You go, Zelda. <laughs> huh. Let's see here. I'm just trying to make up what is this plan this this little shape or whatever it is. Let's see the other side. What's on the other side? Come on. Come on, Soda. Yeah. Uh let's see here. I know there's a chest around here. We need to get up. Oh. Yeah, she'd still be afraid of rats, just like always. Even if she is wearing this whole big suit of armor, we can just kill herself. Nope, she's still afraid of rats. Speaking of rats, there's another one right there. Um. Okay, can you hit that um, torch for me? Oh, look at that. There's a chest in here. And we got a pirate's necklace. Eh. A pretty nice rare item to get. You ask me. Now uh, let's just continue on and find whatever we gotta do here. Since there's supposed to be the answer on the floor, just just because the fact that Tombstone tells you to. See now, like I'm saying, comparing these games nowadays, like this platform, let's say, to the ones previous ones they had. The previous ones are harder, trust me, because the fact they don't give you this much ease of how whatever you must do. I mean, the game's still quite challenging just for the fact that a lot of people just keep complaining how, how, what am I saying? How you use, how you control Link in this game with a touch screen. But if you ask me, it's a very great touch and it's actually easy, very easy to use if you ask me. Especially in doing somersault now in this game, cause now you just had to, you just gotta tap uh, uh, twice on the screen, whatever direction you want to hit to. But what can you do, really? Oh, look at that! There's the door. Now, what was the symbol again? I seriously was not paying attention. Uh, just let me look it up. Let me look up back again. Okay, so now I figure out it was actually a Z. Z as in Zelda. I know, right? Seriously, that was kind of a bit obvious, but at the same time it wouldn't be because it could have just been a Triforce. I don't know. And apparently I gotta call Zelda to pick this out, this key. Because probably uh, Zelda is immune to it. You would think so, because it's all electrifying thing and all that. I guess it can pick up keys. And we get some master ends. That's just great. At least they're not like as bad as the ones from A Link to the Past. They just come out of nowhere from the sky. It's like, oh my god! I think that's like probably that's one of the few, very few things that annoys me back on the Link to the Past. Those master hands that just clearly just comes out of nowhere. And get you and send you back to the beginning, which is would have been annoying to actually added <laughs> this kind of concept in these Zelda games. At least in this one, it's much easier to handle because they do just they do just spawn again. But even if you kill one, they're just gonna respawn another one just to replace it. And go away. 
Now let's just try to get this key all the way to the switch as fast as I can. Oh, come on, so that there we go. Finally. Yeah, I don't know why there is a boss key door, really, in this particular place. I do not know why. Do we have to fight some sort of boss? Huh. You would think so, but let's just check and see. Come on, let's go, Zelda. Oh, so we do fight a mini boss. Haha, <laughs> nice. It's just an upgraded version of a Soria Warrior, really. And apparently, it does not help you use the boomerang to hit him from the back. Other than that, I just didn't aim it well. And oh my god, yeah, you just gotta be careful of that fire, but we could just. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this is how this game would have been easier, because Zelda comes in and actually helps you. Zelda actually helps you in the adventure, which I don't mind, really. This is one of the only few times that Zelda actually helps you. That was pretty scary. Yep, that's right, Zelda. <laughs> but you did help already. <laughs> You've been helping me throughout the time. Even though she is a ghost. And we're here, we get an ancient gold coin. Cool. I'm not sure if you actually get like a like a random No, that's not what I want it. I wanted to click here. Okay, it's still 500, so it is a rare item. But I think you always get a random item, um, rare item. It's always random. <laughs> I keep saying random. <laughs> so with that, we actually managed to get here by the looks of it because our sword got depleted and she lost her armor. Yep. And with that. He got the ocean glyph. Now we can explore even much, much areas. And, and, well, another area now, another realm, another land. But before we do so, we're gonna go back to those other, uh, the other floors, cause I for totally, totally forgot those. Um, there were some more treasures we could have just gotten in. I'll just go to get them just to get it out of the way. Not to mention we still we're still gonna be doing a lot more cycles after we leave the tower as well. Before we can actually go to the ocean land. Or ocean realm or the water water realm I believe is called. I'm not entirely sure. Seriously, the the U the the, the European version sounds uh, its words are much better, really. I like the Blizzard Temple, the Wooden Temple, Outset Village. That sounded very cool. But anyways, the first treasure was just right here. Ob it was so obvious to get. It was just right here on the very first floor. We get another. Uh, we get a treasure. And let's just quickly get this tier, which is conveniently placed here. <laughs> That's number two. And here we get a palace dish. Awesome. And of course, let's just grab the other one. Let's just kid him just to stall for time. And that's number three. Yeah, you want to make sure to get get yourself the Phantom as well. Let Zelda take over the Phantom because there is another treasure we can get on the second floor as well. Two of them, in fact, we could we could have just gotten it in the previous episode, the last two episodes, which I did not, cause I was just too dumb not to not to get them. So I totally forgot about this. So you see there's this gap. Well, you gotta do the same thing just like previous episode. Fly Zelda on the other side of this gap. Who would've thought the whirlwind is that, that strong? <laughs> so let's just Zelda hit this little switch and a bridge to open. Yeah. Incom that's just convenient. He opened there's three bridges instead of one. And with that we get a Mystic Jade. Awesome. Now, the other one is right here. Make sure the Zelda is on the floor this time. And you don't fall on the floor unless you want to go all the way back and do it again. And of course, get Zelda out of the way. And get this treasure. Now, for the second part here, you want to get go to the second section right on the fifth floor. Well, 
Yeah, the fifth floor. This is the fourth one. So let me get tears and I'll meet you there. Okay. Now we just gotta cross here. And just making sure don't wait. Just make sure don't fall off, obviously. <laughs> of course, the switch is already hit, I believe. See, the switch should be hit. Okay, it is hit. Because the door is still open. Because there's still one more, two more treasure you could have gotten here, which I did not get. Come on, Zelda. Let's go. Because you're the only one who can cross this lava, so. <laughs> Now just get off on Zelda. Make it uh, just walk Zelda to walk on the other side, so he can able to block those fire. Just quickly, quickly. Now nah, just totally ignore this part of the map. We could have just walked all the way down here, and we can could have gotten this treasure like very early, or at least I could have just gotten out of the way. But at least I'm just getting it now. I mean, all these treasures. I wouldn't say there is such importance, but at the same time, you want to get them because it will save you time and money. Like, literally, because you will be needing these treasures later on in the game. So, with that, we got the bridge open. Huh, okay. Guess I gotta cross here. Because I'm obviously, I cannot cross because there's fire. It's gonna burn me to death. Uh huh. Okay. There's this black, this thing blocked in the way, so that means I need bombs. Let me see if I can throw it on the other side and let's actually sell them. Guess not. Hmm. Okay. This just my. Okay, so it does work. Yeah, just throw the bomb at, at Zelda very close, and Zelda will carry it without, without activating. So. It'll be easier. <laughs> and that was my last bomb too for just for trying what to do. How to do this. Of course. Fire has gone out of the way. And we can get this one treasure and I'll meet you guys on the fifth floor, alright? Okay, now let's just cross here. And let's continue crossing. But and from here on. I'll end, it, end the episode here, guys. So next time, let just sell spare tracks. We're gonna move on and see what's on lives on the <laughs> floor before us. See you guys then. <laughs>